Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to improve your edits. So we're we'll going over things like how to develop muscle memory as well as a couple little tips that I like to use in my own gameplay. So enjoy the video. Building muscle memory within Fortnite for editing and building is honestly one of the most important things that you need to do because once you get to those fast edits and builds that are going to be required in late game scenarios or those stressful situations, you don't have time to stop and think about what you're going to do. So you have to rely on what your mouse hand is used to doing so that way you can build up some good muscle memory. So something like this, you're not going to have time to think about. But the difference between sitting there and thinking about your edit in comparison to just pounding right through it is going to be a very drastic difference within time. I recommend practicing things like this within uh, edit courses and build courses and such. I'll have a couple of mine linked down below for you. And this is probably one of the best ways to improve your edits. Another great thing to practice is your edit switches. So for example, if I'm grabbing this edit here, I'm going to reset it and in that same time frame, I'm going to quickly swap it to the other side. That way you can get a much faster edit that rather than having to completely reset the edit and then edit again. So that way when you're heading through your turtles and such, it's going to be a lot faster movement rather than having to reset the build and then edit it again. Another big thing that I see a lot of people get caught up late game is when they have to edit close up to their builds. Because sure, you have everything muscle memory down for when you're at a farther away distance. But once you get up to here, the whole angle and the amount that you have to move your mouse is a lot more. And you can definitely tell the difference between the two. And a lot of times I'll see people quickly go to do an edit and they'll only edit a door because they're so used to being able to move their mouse the same amount of distance as they would when they're back here. So I do recommend practicing editing at weird angles, maybe from up above as well making sure you can get all of your edits down because really looking at it from any other angle than straightforward is going to be a lot different than what you're used to. A great way to improve the consistency of your edits is making sure that you're pulling out your pickaxe after every time you're going to edit because if you end up trying to edit with your build plans out still and if you accidentally hit your edit key too fast you're going to end up pre-editing your builds and that means you're going to end up placing down a scuffed build as well all your future ones are going to be messed up as well and you definitely don't want that inside of a build fight one of the fastest ways to reset your builds as you can see here is making sure you bind your reset and your building edits button to your mouse down or mouse up whatever you would like so make sure you do this one right here and i just put it as my second that way i can still use my typical binds and then as well, the building edit down here in the miscellaneous. Make sure you have mouse wheel down for that. So that means you can still use your typical ways to uh, reset edits, or you can use a super fast way with your mouse down. And this works great with walls and everything else, as a lot of players will do this where they'll edit and then quickly reset it. So that way your opponent will end up shooting the wall, breaking it, and then you can typically get a shot right back at them. When you're inside of a one by one and somebody might end up stealing your wall, it's important to be able to swap your ramp edits around really quickly. Now, instead of having to drag the edit all the way like that, a really quick way to do it is if you look at these little rectangles here, all you have to do is drag a diagonal. Now, whatever side you want the bottom of the ramp to be, you're just going to start with that rectangle, and all you're going to do is drag a diagonal. Now, it's a little bit weird to get used to at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really simple and will help with swapping your ramp around a lot better in those stressful situations. All right, that is going to wrap up the video there, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below as it really does help out the channel. Other than that, if you want to see anything else in any future episodes, make sure to let me know down below and enjoy the rest of your day.